કૃષ્ણે જણાવ્યા દારી બ્રહ્માણે લોહિયા ગયેલા કૃષ્ણે ચરણે બ્રહ્મા ધન્યવાદ કહી સો યુ હેન ડિસ્કસિંગ એસ્ટર્ડે બ્રહ્મા વિઝિટિંગ કૃષ્ણ હેઝ ફોર હેડ એન્ડ બ્રહ્મા હી વોઝ લિટલ પ્રાઉડ દેટ આઈ એમ ધી ઓરિજિનલ ફર્સ્ટ ક્રિચર ઓફ ધીસ યુનિવર્સ આઈ એમ ગોટ ફોર હેઝ ફોર હેન્ડ મેટીરિયલ નેચર the influence of material nature is like that in brahma who is supposed to be the in full knowledge of vedic uh, literature he is the father of vedic literature he handed over the vedas to narada he still that uh, ahankar i am something is there even in brahma Uh, and what to speak of ordinary living entities like that. This material conception of life is like that. I am and mine. Aham, aham mameti. Aham mameti. I am something supreme and it is mine. This is the material view. So, these things are sometimes exhibited by great uh, ishara controller like brahma like shiva they sometimes exhibit material frailties they are not fallible in that way but they teach us by their behavior that even personalities on the most exalted position they are also sometimes subjected to the spell of illusory energy the idea is that we should be very careful nobody should think that he is beyond the range of uh, material energy at any time we can fall down but if we stick to the krishna consciousness all as thinking of krishna as our protector and take shelter and to his lotus feet sincerely then even if we fall down sometimes uh, not intentionally but accidentally because we have practiced so many bad things so it may be possible that even i take full care still the influence is so strong i may fall down Uh, Krishna excuses such kind of fall down excuses. But if we intentionally think, oh, because I am in Krishna consciousness, because I am i- engaged in devotional service, oh, I can do any nonsense and Krishna will excuse me. No. Not like that. No. Krishna will excuse you provided you do not do anything intentionally wrong. we should be generally those who are in krishna consciousness fully uh, they have as already explained to you they have got all these statistic qualification uh, that is the perfection of krishna consciousness when we see the 26 qualification in full present that means he is perfect in krishna consciousness if those qualities are not present that means there is still i am to say uh, the touch of contamination of material nature rava bhaktasya kuto mahatma so far those who are not in krishna consciousness their material academic qualification has no way no way have an mba phd he may be uh, why manorathena asato bhavata bahi because the materialist and uh, without krishna consciousness that is a materialist one who has no conception of god or krishna and his proper relationship with him uh, one who does not know the science of god he is called materialist materialist does not mean 
something externally personal. One who does not know about Krishna, he is materialist. And one who makes progress in the science of Krishna under regulation and under principle, they are called spiritualists. So, materialists say disease is that arava bhaktasya kuto mahadudana mano rathena asato dhavata gati. Unless we take to Krishna consciousness fully, uh, we shall hover over the mental plane. You will find so many uh, philosophers, doctors of philosophy, uh, they, they can go on speculating, mental plane, mana. But actually they are asap, their activities will be seen in materialistic. There is no spiritualistic reality. The so more or less degree, this material conception is everywhere. Abrahma Bhavana Loka. Krishna says, Abrahma Bhavana Loka. Beginning from the lowest planet up to the Brahma Loka, they are all affected. So similarly, Brahma, he thought himself, though, how great I am that in my jurisdiction Krishna, my Lord, has come and is praying like a boy, cowherd boy. How much great I am. Krishna has come just like a cowherd boy. You see. Therefore, uh, he, Krishna Janaya Dari Brahmare Laya Gala. Krishna inquired which Brahma has come. Now the doorman takes him inside and he enters Krishna's room, offers his respect. Krishna charane brahma dandavat kaila. Now, if Krishna is ordinary person, has a foolish uh, rascal thing, the abhajananti mang bhūrha, the foolish rascals deride at me as ordinary man. How is it possible that Brahma is offering his respect to Krishna? Uh, if you think that uh, these are all stories, not stories. Do you think Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is speaking uh, uh, some stories, some fabricated stories uh, to get his followers? Do you think like that? No. Lord Chaitanya, uh, such a great devotee, apart from his feature of incarnation, take him as a great devotee, learned. He was vastly learned, and nobody could surpass him in his learning in those days. He defeated, when he was a sixteen years old boy, uh, he defeated the greatest scholar, Keshav Kashmiri, his name was Keshav, he uh, came uh, to Navadhi uh, from Kashmir to talk with scholars. Formerly, as there, as nowadays, we have got, uh, what is called, uh, what? champion, champion. What is the meaning of champion? Uh? Eh? Best. Best. Just like in sporting, uh, there are champions in uh, chess board playing champion or so many departmental champions. This is coming from time in the uh, long, long ago. But similarly, there were champions of scholars. Uh, just like in modern days, a sportsman will challenge, and it is victorious all over the world. Similarly, in those days, there were competition of the great learned scholars, championship. So this case of Kashmiri, at least in India, that was the system, even five hundred years before. The case of Kashmiri, he was a Pandit, 
No. India was united on the strength of religious culture and Sanskrit language. All over India, the lingua franca or the, uh, the language, common language, at least for the scholars, not for the common man. The common man could speak any language, Hindi, Parsi, or uh, Bengali, Uriya, Telugu, so many, there are so many languages. Every district will find some language. Uh, but uh, that was not taken into consideration. When, uh, when education is concerned, every student all over India, they would uh, take education in Sanskrit. Uh, Sanskrit language was uh, So the, our present government, they have introduced uh, a state language as Hindi, there are so many protests and so many calls. They would have done better if they have in, they would have introduced Sanskrit language as it was previous. So the Sanskrit language was the one and the culture was Vedic. Therefore, uh, there was no disunion. Every part of the, uh, of the country in India the same system. He may be a, a Bengali, he may be a Maharashtrian, he may be a Gujarati, or he may be a Guria. There are so many provinces, but the culture was the same. Another unity was that sacred places were distributed all over India. Just like Goya, a sacred place, it is situated in Bihar. And sacred place, Banaras, it is situated in uh, Uttar Pradesh, uh, Vrindavan is situated on the border of Uttar Pradesh and Punjab. Uh, similarly, Kashmir uh, and Punjab also. Uh, in South India, Rameshwaram, uh, uh, in the Himalayan province, Haridwa. In this way, all these provinces are distributed and still it is going on. Oh. The provincialism is among the educated self. So far the mass of people are concerned, they don't know what is province. Oh. They travel from one province to another. They don't require any visa, they don't require any passport. Oh. So that was very nice. So this Sanskrit scholar, Keshav Kashmiri, he came from Kashmir to challenge uh, the learned scholars in other parts of the country. Uh, four celebrated place, places where highly uh, educated scholars were there. One was uh, at Banaras. Banaras still it is considered to be the center of Sanskrit scholars' place. Similarly, Navadvi, where Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was born. Uh, and in Bihar, uh, there was a place, uh, Darbhanga. Uh, that is also a scholarly place. So, Banaras uh, and Baharampu. Baharampu in East Bengal, near Dhaka. So, some of the places in India, they are very famous for learned scholars. Still they are continuing. So Sanskrit scholars would come to such celebrated places and they would challenge uh, uh, for uh, arguing on the sastras. So the rule was the two party will argue and uh, the defeated party will become the disciple of the victorious party. Uh, that was the system. The so Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, when he was sixteen years old, this case of Kashmiri came to Navadri to challenge. In other places he was victorious, he became champion. And then at last he came to Bengal, Navadri. So, 
that uh, scholarly discussion will take place. Now notice he's already given that Kesavkasmir has come here and he had an umbrella and the four sides were covered in gold and the uh, one side is remaining. As soon as he come, and becomes victorious in Navadhi, the that side also will be covered with gold. So the people of Navadhi, learned scholars, they first of all thought that Nimai Pandit, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was known as Nimai Pandit. Yeah, because he was a boy, sixteen years old boy, very learned scholar, especially in logic. He was very learned scholar, logician. He was so, even in his sixty years he, with his class friend, he will establish one theory, again he'll cut it, again he'll establish, again he'll cut it, again he'll the same in his own way. He was so learned scholar, logician. So, the uh, elderly scholars of Navadhi, they designed that this Nimai Pandit should be forwarded first to talk with Kesha of Kashmir. Because he is a boy, but he is a very nice boy, he is a very learned boy. See, if he becomes victorious, then our Navadhi will be glorified that Kesha of Kashmir is defeated uh, by a Sixteen years old boy in Navadhi. Yeah. And, he, and uh, if he, if Nimai Pandit is defeated, then we shall go forward. Then we shall say, Oh, you have defeated a boy, let us come to us. So you get second chance. And that was the plan, Bengali plan. <laughs> second chance. First chance, second chance. So it was arranged like that, that. Lord Chaitanya, Nimai Pandit would talk with, discuss with case of Kashmiri. So one evening, uh, in the, in the, still during summer season, on the Ganges side, in the evening there are so many ladies and gentlemen, especially gentlemen, ladies do not come. Nowadays come, formerly they did not come out. So they came for strolling. And Nimai Pandit, although he was sixteen years old, he had many students. The formal the system was that uh, as soon as a boy becomes little grown up and learned, he'll also teach some students, Chatuspat. So although all the students were of the same age, but still Nimai Pandit was chief of them. So he was discussing with his own students on the bank of the Ganges. The case of Kashmiri came there for strolling and he understood that, oh, here is a boy, Divine Pandit. He is to talk with me. So why this boy will talk with me? He thought like it. So when he came before the assembly of the students and oh, he talked with him, are you Nimai Pandit? Oh. Yes, sir. Uh, who are you? Uh, Kesha of Kashmir. Oh, come on, come on, sit down. Uh, uh, the introduction was there. They sat down and then Nimai Pandit requested. So I have heard that you are a very vastly learned scholar and from your teacher also I can understand. So best thing will be that you compose some uh, poetry uh, in uh, praising the uh, Ganges, because they are on the bank of the Ganges. And it is, it is a Hindu system. Ganges water is considered very sacred, and there are many prayers of Ganges. Patitadharini Ganges. Patitadharini Ganges. Ganges is the shelter for all the fallen souls seek and deliver. Sankaracharya also had composed many poems on the Ganges. There are many poetries on the Ganges. So Kesha Kashmiri was a very learned scholar. He, without any 
agitation, he began to compose Sanskrit verses in praising Ganges. So he composed about one hundred verses images while talking. So out of the one hundred verses, on the sixty-four verses, verse, Lord Chaitanya pointed out, will you kindly explain this oh, line? I am little in difficulty to understand. What is that? There is there was a word, Bhavani Bharta. Bhavani Bharta. Bhavani means husband of Bhavan. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu pointed out that Bhavani, Bhava means Lord Shiva. And Bhavani means uh, uh, Lord Shiva's wife. And Bharta means husband. So this Bhavani word itself indicates that she is the wife of Lord Shiva. And why you have stated again Bharta, again husband? Ah. This is called Virutti Dosh. Sanskrit language is it's very scholarly language. Uh, reform. You cannot deviate even a line, even a letter in the sense, in the poetry, in the writing. There is all regulation. Strict regulation, grammatical and metric and so many things. So nobody can surpass. Uh, and not that. Just like nowadays we write poetry. One, one line is three hundred miles, one hundred. <laughs> <laughs> no, only one mind. <laughs> oh, that sort of poetry will not be allowed in Sanskrit. <laughs> you cannot adjust three hundred miles and one mile. No. <laughs> it must be very symmetrical. Oh, that is Sanskrit language. So, <laughs> the point around me, the Pandit, Tashmiri Pandit, Bhutan, oh, surprised. The Kashmir Pandit became surprised. How is that? This boy understood. He was a student of grammar and he is pointing out a literary defects. He became very much surprised. Uh, then he admitted, he was not a scholar, he admitted his part. And he said, How is that? I have heard that you are a uh, student of grammar and you are pointing out the defects in literary construction? Uh, oh. No, yes. Uh, yes, sir, I am a student of grammar, uh, but I have heard it from great scholars like you. Of course, I do not know, but I have heard it. He very submissively uh, replied that I am not scholar, but I have heard it from scholars that this is defective. He could understand that he is a very clever student. And, and there were many others. So he pointed out the fact. He thought in the beginning, oh, he is asking to compose a, a, some poetry. Oh, I shall show him. How can, how can I compose poetry? Hundred. He did not care so much that the, he, he will point out so, so many defects in them. Yeah. But when he is high, he became Sorry. Uh, and then the students, Lord Chaitanya's students, as it is usual, they began to laugh oh, Chaitanya at once. Oh, don't love in that way. So this case of Kashmiri uh, went to his uh, I mean, home and he was a, a devotee of uh, Goddess Saraswati. He prayed. The mother, I was never defeated in this, in such a way. Uh, what offense I have made unto your little feet that uh, I am defeated before a boy. Uh, so then uh, Goddess Saraswati uh, presented herself in dream and informed that this boy is not ordinary boy. Uh, you, you are fortunate that you are defeated before him. Best thing will be that you go and surrender unto him and he will be prophet. <laughs> 
<laughs> so this case of caste many became a student of Lord Chaitanya and this is it. So this uh, popped up uh, things are going on in every field of activity. But Lord Krishna, He is the all is greater than everyone. So here uh, Brahma is asking uh, Krishna manna puja kari tare prasna kaila kilagi tamari ha agaman harila. Uh, as he offered his respect to Krishna, Krishna received him. Oh, welcome, uh, Brahma. Uh, I'm very glad to see you. Uh, what is this special message that you have all of a sudden you come here? Uh, so, Brahma kahe taha pasi kori va nivedan ak saṁ saṁ mane hai kara chedan. Yes, sir, I shall speak for what for I have come here. But I have got some doubts. First of all, you kindly clear this doubt. Then, and what is that doubt? Aksham Sai Mane Karachar. Kono Brahma Puchile to me, Kono Avipraya. Amabai Jagati are Kono Brahma Hoy. So you have asked which Brahma. So I am surprised. Is there any other Brahma than myself in this world? Suni Hasi Krishna Tave Kodilen Dhane Asankha Brahma Argon Ayla Krishna is my. Oh, yeah, there are so many Brahmas, I am calling them. So, any marvel Brahmas appear before Krishna. Dosh bhi sata sahasra ajud lakha vadan kottar vud mukkaro na jaya gana. So, unlimited, he had four faces, four heads, and there many Brahmas came with hundred thousands of faces. So, that was exhibited by Krishna. So this instruction is that we uh, speak of God as unlimited, but when He uh, makes some manifestation of unlimitedness, we take it uh, in a different way. But actually that is not the fact. If God has unlimited potency, He can do anything and everything. Uh, that is unlimitedness. We should not restrict God with our speculative mind that how is that all? Uh, four headed Brahma, then thousand headed Brahma. Uh, how is this possible? Yes. If Krishna likes, God likes, we can make millions of headed Brahma. Uh, otherwise, there is a meaning of unlimited. Uh, he can show anything and everything. We should accept. Uh, <coughs> so mm, these things are going on. We can discuss later on tomorrow. Hare Krishna. Any questions? <coughs>